This is the measuring cell for flexible tubings for the SIRPASS-3 electrokinetic analyzer. It's a measuring cell for mounting tubings with different diameters, but also for polymer hollow fiber membranes. Together with this measuring cell, you find series of accessories for sample mounting. These accessories comprise of caps and gaskets for sample mounting, and heat shrink tubes for embedding porous samples, such as hollow fiber membranes. This video is to show you how to mount your sample in the measuring cell for flexible tubings and how to mount the cell in SIRPASS-3. We are going to mount a conventional silicone hose as a representative sample. First, you need to disassemble the cell. Remove these two screws to open the measuring cell. Check the diameter of your hose sample and choose the appropriate cap and the corresponding gasket. The initial length of the sample should be at least 10 centimeters. Insert one end of the hose end into first the cap screw and second into the gasket. Move the gasket and the cap screw to the end of the tube and make sure that the gasket and the tube end are on the same level. Use the lower position, position where no arrow is indicated, to mount the leveled tube sample. Fix the cap screw carefully, only with little force, to avoid squeezing the tube sample. Cut the sample to the required length. Repeat the cap screw and gasket mounting with the second end of the tube sample. Fix also the second end of the tube sample carefully on the upper position, position where an arrow is indicated. Put the upper part of the measuring cell for flexible tubing on the lower part of the cell and fix the two parts with the screws. To tighten them completely, use the Torque T20 screwdriver with torque control. Now, mount the measuring cell on the instrument. Simply plug in the cell and lock it by turning the lever upright. The flexible tubing cell is then recognized by the SIRPASS-3 software. Use the rinse cycle to adjust the compression of the tube sample while filling the tube channel with measuring fluid. Adjust the compression of the tube sample by rotating the adjustment knob. For mounting a hollow fiber sample, we follow a similar approach. We disassemble the flexible tubing cell to access the sample compartment. Again, we start with a sample length of minimum 10 centimeters. Select a heat shrink tube with its inner diameter closest to the outer diameter of the hollow fiber membrane. Insert the hollow fiber membrane into the heat shrink tube. Shrink the tube using an appropriate heat source, for example, oven or hot air gun, at a temperature of approximately 110 degrees Celsius or 230 degrees Fahrenheit. Cut one end of the heat shrink tube with the hollow fiber membrane carefully in order not to squeeze the membrane. Mm -hmm. 
Now you can assemble the measuring cell in the same way as for tube samples, as shown earlier in this video. For questions, contact us at zeta.potential at antonpar.com.